you guys. We got a 70s GMC Camper Special Custom. Pretty cool truck. I'm trying to find out what exactly the year is here in a minute. Pull this car cover up and see what we got. Another beast with a 454 in it. Okay, nobody knows where the keys are at. The truck is locked up tight. But uh, there's a good crack in the window. Got a hose, or uh, hose clamp. I got a coat hanger that I've bent into this shape so I can manipulate a string. Might not be long enough, but maybe I can. The loop is a little too tight. Come on. Try starting with a smaller loop on that. Okay, let's just try and make a make this as loose as possible. Oh, that works. I think, maybe. Yes, got it. All right, 
right, let's see what we get. First time that door's opened in a long time. Not too bad though. Like the little mounted fire extinguisher. Golden seats. This is cool. I like it. No dome light to speak of. This is nice. Get you some light in here. Tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge, thermometer. What is this? This, this reminds me of my El Camino seat, big old bench. Does the horn work? Let's find out. thing is wired into like some kind of custom solar setup to keep the battery maintained but I doubt that's working still get the temperature gauge yeah, this almost looks like an aftermarket kind of deal cruise control there maybe not maybe that's just what they did in the uh... it does look like aftermarket kind of a deal who knows what that does no keys. That's okay. We can find a way to I'll go find the connect. Find a way to bypass that temporarily until he finds the keys for it. Looks like uh, those are the spicy, uh, what is it? minty, super minty uh, Mentos. My grandpa ate those like crazy. Fuses, spare fuses, a few random cobwebs just stringing across there. Oh, there's two switches. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of custom stuff. Wow, under an overdrive. There's a whole bunch of gnarly stuff on here. How do you adjust this? The steering wheel not adjust? That's crazy. It's like. I was like right on my lap. Well, well, well. Let's, um, yeah, first thing's gonna be. Let's pop that hood, actually. Where the heck is the trunk release? Oh, look at got two. There's two, uh, these are for your brights to turn your brights on. I don't know why there's two of them though, that's freaking weird. Love these old seatbelts, look at that. They're heavy too. Oh, no shoulder seats. Or no shoulder belts. There's another gauge. Oddball fuel gauge in there. A random kind of position. That probably goes to this big old tank in the in the trunk and the bed. Truck bed. More switches, holy moly. Okay, nothing really behind the seats. All right, no keys and no obvious hood release. Let's see if it, let's just check popping the front, popping it again. Going. 
Yeah, I don't see any cable running off from that, so that's gotta be the only thing. It's just stuck. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, that's packed full of ink mouse crap. Got some ignition stuff in there. Your movement. All right, it's pretty cool. Got another 454. So I got Elbrock carb on there. Cool jack. Let's uh, yeah, let's get the vacuum up here. Maybe make a little better. Get some better lighting. Check out that corrosion. That's pretty bad. Just charging off solar and battery eventually probably went bad. Let's get that out of there. Pretty cool thing though. Just goes up to the roof and yeah, got a couple solar panels. Or I think there's, I've only seen one up there. So there's one solar panel and two connections to something. Or three connections. Or maybe two connections and one is a switch, yeah, one's a switch. Some baby mice. So kind of bad, they don't even have their eyes open yet. All right, I brought them in here. I've seen a mouse nest in here before, and Anyway, there's an old nest here. I took kind of the remains and stuck it all together into a ball. Put them in here. I don't know, maybe they can feed on the nest or maybe there's stuff in the nest they can feed on. And we're close enough to the field. And there's, I assume this is how the other mice were getting in here. There's a hole right outside, so maybe once they get big enough they can 
Cute little guys. One more baby. One more mice baby. Get you with your family. Okay, one more chick for baby mice. I got like eight of them out of here. Yeah, boy, this whole area reeks like piss. This must have been the nest. Got the really bad corrosion right there too on the front of the hood. This whole area is just kind of rusting away. Hey, look what I found! Key. Let's hope we got an ignition key. That'd make things so much easier. Oh, I hear something though. Hey, I think we got keys. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing down there. Heck yeah, hide a key. That makes things a whole lot easier than having to try and then having to start this the hard way. But interesting there. Yeah, look at that. Boom! Alright, door key. And ignition key, we are in business. Alright, that's awesome. Let's see what we got for an air cleaner. Oh, it's sticky. <laughs> but it's full. It's a full. But Jesus Christ, it's their food storage. Oh my god. <laughs> That's we got so many seeds in there. This is, whoops! This is like the grocery store. Look at that. Jeez Louise, that's a lot of food. Thankfully they did not make it past the air filter. The carburetor should be all good. That is a trip. They would travel over from a living area to a spot they designated as food. And that is totally a mouse food storage. There's no living material in there. There's no like Padding. Oh, there's a bone. That's creepy. I think they just picked a spot to store all their food and did it. Kind of blows my mind. Nope. Not in, not in this truck. Lots of vacuum lines. I got a tag on it says 1901. Yeah, Pro Master Coil Mallory Ignition. Some beefy looking stuff over here, boy. Quadra Jet. That'll rock. Let's see what this oil looks like. Ooh, it 
it's really full. Like really, really full. We'll have to drain some of that and see if we got water at the bottom of the oil pan. Looks like plain old water. Oof, smells like antifreeze. We'll just top it off with some fresh stuff for now. Drain it when it gets out of here. Alright, let's see if this tire holds air. Seems to be the only flat. Not looking too good. I got about 30 psi in it. I'm just gonna leave it right there. So that is enough to roll it out of here. I don't want to go too much further and have it pop. So that's cool. That's all I need for that. Let's get this got a nice little setup here for the um, coolers. Probably trans in a engine cooler, maybe oil cooler. This bushing's looking newer. Hmm. Interesting. That's that's kind of cool looking. Looks like little booster rockets. Here's that oil drain. That's oil. Uh, definitely, it's just oil. Good. No water, just really full. Let's just, uh, just let a little bit come out of there. That's good enough, I think, for just a. for. to see if it starts. So I also need to get it to. Fuel tank and see what uh, how bad that is. I was in here a while ago and it was it seemed uh, pretty sure we could see the bottom of it. It was empty, which is good. Doesn't smell like anything. Though this nozzle says water. I mean, if that's water, it's kind of cool. Comes with the water tank. The other one must be fuel then. Yeah, these both say water, so I think these are just nozzles that were used that are normally maybe used for a water tank. Oh, there's a fuel fill thing. Uh, okay, so there's the fuel fill nozzle. There's one here too. So yeah, it has an extra tank. 
for gas as well as its, as its own tank. A couple viewing ports. This one has a hose that goes down though. This one I can see in real clearly. That one has a little tube going down. I can't see much. Somebody got that all wrapped up. So yeah, it looks like we got a big old box made to cover up a fuel tank. And then there's a, I don't know, I guess a couple of viewing ports. Actually, there's a small tank. That looks like that's what that goes to. Well, this is kind of crazy. So we got a small tank, and then uh, I'm assuming a pump that is teed, and the T is missing the other side of the connection. Goes back here. This is very strange. And that's just, this just looks like the gas tank. Oh, I just, that's not going to anything. Okay, so these water ports are just part of this assembly and one might be attached to that reservoir, whatever the heck that does. Okay, no keys to be found anywhere. So we gotta do this the hard way. That wasn't, it's not one of those spinning types. So I can't just drill a hole, put a pin in it. Cylinder. So last, the guy had heard, 
thing was full of gas, or maybe it's the other tank. Yep, we got liquid in there. And now I'm smelling varnish. Oh yeah, we got varnish. Alright, so... Some temporary gas caps till we get some new ones. That's a nice old tray saver. So that's some corrosion on it, but it, uh, I bet that helped a lot though. So it looks still quite solid. See a date on that anywhere? Maybe it's a, a 1990? I don't know. Probably not that old. The tags are 07. Alright, just had a parts delivery show up. A battery. Feel safe and deal. Should be able to make that work. Hopefully, there's not too much gas. And a couple of gas caps. Well, the guy said there was a drain on this one, so let's go see if there's a drain. 
Yeah, looks like we got a drain right there. Plugged up. So nothing's coming out. Let's poke it with something. Let's give it a poke. I got some jugs here. I'm gonna try and catch as much as possible. It's completely gunked up on the bottom. Or it's just not even. A oh, there it goes. Oh, phew. That reeks. All right, got a fresh battery put in there. Go oh, headlights. Now look at that. Old Jimmy is coming alive. Soon enough we'll get this we'll get his engine going. Oh, we got one turn signal out. Strange. Horn? No horn. Okay, there's a second gallon. Just a just a trickle. Taking like 30 45 minutes per gallon, but as long as it's going, I'll just let it keep doing its thing. So, I'm not finding any fuel filters in line or otherwise, just the, uh, the carburetor filter. Let's just uh, open that up and see what that looks like. filter stuck in there pretty good but uh 
Oh yeah, that's clogged. Oh, now it's not. Oh no, there's a there's like a little valve in there. That might be a yeah, a little valve. Whoa, yeah, okay, that's working. old gas that's been sitting in that line's clear when I first started up. While that drains, I thought I'd come check on these baby mice. There goes that. Look at that little baby mouse, got his eyes open now. Glad they survived. I felt bad sucking them up in the vacuum. Hello, baby. Yeah, let's put down some food, see if, you, see if you're hungry. Anyway. Yep. Yep. All right. All the old gas is drained out of the auxiliary tank. Drain plug is put back in. Ready for a couple of gallons of some fresh gas. Pretty close to empty on this as well. That helps. That works so much better taking the pump off once you get the siphon started. Bambi. Come over to supervise. Almost there. Come on. Mouthwash bottle to try and catch most of the fuel. A rag down there. Here's another rag. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, got these hide the key. blowing. First one. Sounds like a cooling fan. That actually might be this thing. I don't know what the heck that even does. She turns over. Awesome.
No fuel. Jimmy wants to run. Alright. Sounds like old Jimmy wants to run. I'm going to need to go through, I think, and find some fuel filters. Okay, there we go. So back and side. Back tank, side tank. Let's see. I was on back tank already. That didn't seem to do nothing. kept starting this and putting a little gas in and that actually got it to stay running with that little bottle of fuel and look at that stuff's finally starting to come out Okay, here's a panel with some wing nuts. Looks kind of custom. I do think I can see a fuel filter in there. Alright, two fuel filters. Okay. There's the there's the T with the switching solenoid. Pull those off, check them out. Alright, these filters don't seem too bad, and there's fresh gas coming out of them, so... Alright, we have no obstructions into the side tank. You can hear that fuel sloshing around when I... Blow some air into the line backward. However, this line... Pretty good crack in it. But I think that might, I shouldn't keep it from sealing. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe the valves are all gunked up and not letting fuel go by. However, if we try the back tank, I cannot get it to do that. So I think the rear tank is clogged. Side tank is good. I think some of this stuff is clogged. Fuel filter is okay. If nothing else, I can just bypass all this switching stuff, um, put a fuel filter on this line and just connect that directly back to the mechanical fuel pump how it used to be. And at least we'll get a going. But I think this is the line to the back tank and that's not letting anything through. Yeah, that is totally sealed up. Alright, I'm blowing air backward through the valve system. Just seeing if that all cleared out and 
I can feel a jet of air coming out through this spot right here. Another split line. I can feel a little air coming out of there. And then I can notice there's a big jet of air coming out that split. So yeah, another bad fuel line. I think I'm going to take this one off and just bypass that for now because you got to replace all the fuel line down here. Okay, I got that fuel filter reattached and pulled off a line and have that bypassing the switching valves um, which goes up back to the mechanical fuel pump. Okay, let's give this a few cranks and see if that made a difference. Was that from yesterday? Let's try it again. Speed things up a little bit. Got a good bit of the old stuff out of there. I think we're good on the line purge. Okay, it sounds like we might have a stuck needle or float. Start with this fuel line. Ah, oh, the vacuum and vents. Rock carburetor. Take a look at this thing.
uh, also checking to see if these little tubes are clogged. They look, I mean, they're air flowing through them, but they look uh, like there might be some. Fuel comes in. Where's the fuel filter? So fuel into here fills up. That stops it. It's all looking pretty decent. I, I know it needs to go sit in a sonic uh, one of the sonic baths, part cleaners, or maybe just soaking this part cleaner stuff. Needs a bunch of new seals. Needs a rebuild kit. Check out this float some more. Not too bad. some corrosion and gunk. Pretty crusty there on that. Okay, so that goes up. Okay, so the float goes up. So there's the fuel coming in, coming out here. Float comes up and pushes down on that little valve. If that doesn't happen, this gets stuck or that valve doesn't shut off. It's going to keep filling up and filling up, like what we were seeing a channel and a hole that goes off that way and off this way. It probably comes out down here. So you pump this and it squirts a little fuel in. Looks like we got a couple sl couple of slots on each port there. Yeah, lots of little parts. This is actually really fun. Figure out how all well this goes. Well, it's just the top with the top piece. Alright you guys got in a rebuild kit for the Autobrock 1901 carburetor with a mechanical choke. It's kind of hard to find. They did not have it in auto parts stores. They were coming up with a completely different kit. So I had to hop on eBay and get one. Uh, from Mountain Man, it is uh, based out of Hackett, Arizona. No, Arkansas. Hackett, Arkansas. And everything looks like it matches up. Even got a new float. Got the new priming pump, or whatever that's called. So let's slap that in and see if that fixes our problem.
boy, this is something you don't want to lose. It's like the size of a hair. Thin little wire. Clips onto this. And then the float. I have cleaned some of this, but mostly just blown out all the passageways. It all looks pretty decent. And I'm going to replace this plastic float, or foam float, with this brass one. Nice. And that goes on. There's one more thing here. We got this ball. It's called a. This is super handy, by the way. I love this. I'm learning all the names now. And that is called a ball, p ball pump disc. And then there's the plug pump disc ball. Plug for the ball disc and a ball for the pump disc. I have no idea what that even is, but let's go ahead and replace it since they sent it. I'm going to take this back out again. Here's the ball plug. I got the ball then. I mean, it just looks just like that one. I don't know. Could leave it in there, but who knows? Maybe there's a needs to be cleaned or something. I don't have a sonic bath or the time to go try and get some stuff. So I've just I've done kind of a not so good job of cleaning, but I feel it should be okay. All right, new pump ball, a ball pump. Yeah, I mean, this is surprisingly clean for as long as it's been sitting. Some compressed air, and I think it'll be okay. Put that on. This is actually really fun. I, uh... Alright. Put the pump that back in. These are um, metering metering valves or metering needles. Metering rod, primary. It's a primary metering rod. Got the spring, couple needles, piston. Needles go back in. That's our secondary metering rods up there, and that comes down from the top. Those are those. Yeah, 
This shows on their diagram a spring going down here. But uh, I'm pretty sure it took the old one out and it didn't. Pretty sure it didn't have a spring, but it makes sense because the only. It doesn't look like it's actually pumping anything, so that does need to return. Return spring. Is that even fitting right now? Yeah, looks like that's what we need. Uh, sent two of these, I don't know why. And the last one is had a punch out, so I can go with that. Like that, like that. Okay. Goes like that. There we go. I'm loving this, this is great. It's like Legos. It's like the fun I used to have with Legos when I first started playing with the Lego. Just got, uh, I'm pretty sure I know where everything's going right now except for this pin. Pin, 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 pin. Hinge pin, 33. 33, 33, where's 33? There it is, hinge pin. Now that's not that. Things like hollow. Actually, that looks like that goes in there. Yes, okay. Sent a replacement pin for this thing. Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh, we'll keep that in the parts box just in case. We need that later. But that's, I don't see that being necessary. I mean, maybe this wears out over time. There's a hollow pin. But. That looks pretty good to me. Just confirm that real quick. Doesn't show a pin. It's different here. It's this one. And inside, I connect it to this thing. Side. supposed to do. Guess that just keeps that closed for choke. Alright. I think I'm all done. Oh yeah, I got a little vacuum line here. Place this one. Okay. 
All right, I felt like that went pretty well. Let's go slam it in there. Let's see if it runs. Fuel line is reattached. Vacuum line is reattached. And the uh, throttle lever actuator is reattached. Reconnected. Reattached this weird little deal. It must be uh, for activating the choke. It's got a spring in there. When the spring gets hot or cold, it retracts or extends. and. Pulls on that linkage. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's see if old Jimmy moves. Me guys, I'm so happy for this one. The old Jimmy here, I had uh, not the highest hopes. I, I knew we'd get, her, get him running, but the carburetor, the rotten tires, 
the rusted out fuel lines, I was, yeah, it was a little doubtful. So we got a car here in the way. Let's uh, get Jimmy around and move it. Rusty, I mean, let's get rusty over here and move it. Okay, I can't find a chain for Rusty, so let's just move old Rusty out of the way. Push the car to the track.
right, we're gonna change the oil here pretty quick before we do much more driving. An old Jimmy, what a cool looking truck! I like this thing. Jimmy, you're alive. Jimmy the Custom Camper. Camper Special. Oh. Very, very cool. Very cool truck. Oil time. Probably bath time and some other, we're gonna do some other things for this truck, I'm sure. So stay tuned, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.